Hello everyone. Welcome you all to yet another exciting video where we'll learn together. Today we'll understand how to configure one of the main features of Service Cloud, which is live web chats. Salesforce live web chats basically helps customer interact with the support team. It also improves the support experience for customers. It is very easy to set up the live web chat in Salesforce. Let's understand step by step. Firstly, go to service setup. Once you're here, click on view all on the very right of the screen. As you want to set up something related to chat, you'll search something related to chat. So I see chat with customers over here. So just click on that. Once you click on it, you'll see a guided setup. So this is nothing. You just need to follow all the steps. And at the very end, you will uh, configure live web chat in Salesforce. So just click on start. Give a unique name. Give a name of the group as well. Should be unique. And over here, assign the agent. So for now, I'll assign myself and click on next. Once you do that, we'll have to give the priority. So priority runs from one to 10, give one. That means most priority. Over here, it asks for work item size. That means I'll give one. That means each unit, that is each case will be treated as one work item. And I'll give the agent capacity as 10. That means an agent can handle up to 10 cases at a moment of time. Click on next. So I'll have to give a website URL. Over here, I'll give something related to Visual Force page because I don't have a website in handy right now. I'll show you guys how to configure web chat in a Visual Force page. So this is just for your understanding. But in case you have your website in hand, so don't forget to put that. So this works. Click on next. So what's your type? That is service. Click on next. Do you want offline support for now? No. So I'll just click on next. So once I'll be done, I'll be given out a code over here. Don't forget to copy this code and paste it somewhere. You'll need this code to grab it and put it in your VF page. So this is the code. This, this is nothing. This is just a snippet of the things that we have done in the previous step. So once you click on next, your things are done. But for now, I have already set up by a web chat in my org. So I don't need to click on this. So once I'm done with the setup, I'll go and create a Visual Force page. All you need to do is click on Developer Console. So once you do that, click on File, click on New and Visual Force page. I have already created one, which is this. All you need to do is just copy the snippet and paste it here. But what if I have forgotten to copy it or paste it somewhere. So what you need to do is go to your setup in the quick find, find embedded service deployments. Click on that. Once you click on that, you will see all the queues that you have created. I'll, all you need to do is just click on the drop down, click on view. And over here at the very bottom, you'll see embedded service code snippets. When you click on get code, you'll get the same code over here. That's it. Just copy it and go to your VF page and paste it. Before that, let's understand what else we can do with this chat window. You can also do branding over here. So just click on edit and you will see a demo version of the chat will be available. So it is easy for you to configure what to do, what not to do. So in case I click on red and click on done, so this changes. For header, if I go for maybe purple and click on done, so this changes. And when I click on font, I see many types of font from which you can again choose. 
so it depends upon your availability and your need so just click on cross over here under chat settings click on edit once you do that you'll see additional branding as well so click on edit so what is this this is basically nothing but an image that will show just beside the agent's name or maybe the customer's name so it depends on wherever you put the url so it asks for a url avatar is for the agent logo is for the customer pre-chat background and waiting state background as the name suggests over here you can also choose this font size so how do you put this url all you need to do is go to setup in the quick find type in static resources so static resources basically help to put an image in vf page or javascript files so you need to click on new once you click on new give the name choose a file that you want to show and make the cache control as public so i have already made one agent so when you make the agent you need to click on view file once you click on it a url will be generated so just click on this uh, copy this url go to your embedded service deployment and paste it here do the same for all the three given uh, criteria if you need and click on finish so this is how you do additional branding we also have pre chat page over here so this basically helps us to have and know more about the customer before the agent accepts the case so this is a page that will appear before the agent accepts the case this will this page will appear in the customer side so just need to toggle it down to make it active once you do that click on edit and click on next and you will see the fields if you want to add one more field just click on the plus icon if you if you don't want this field then click on the cross icon if you want to make this field required then click on this checkbox this is all you need to do and click on save so you will see all the fields that are now in the pre chat page same as the offline support but the only difference is that if customer is away or is offline then the cases will be registered to the particular website so that whenever they are back they can take up the cases so over here same way you'll have to toggle it down to make it active or inactive once you click on edit you'll see the same the, the very same way you do pre chat you'll have to do the offline support so again if you click on plus you can add a field if you click on cross you can delete that field if you want to make this field mandatory or required click on the check box that is and click on finish over here also you'll see all the fields that are available so let's go to our developer console and save this page so always make sure if you make any any changes be it just the branding changes go to your chats like chat group refresh the page and go to your get code and copy this code and go to your vf page and paste it over here so don't forget to copy the code and paste it over here or else your changes won't be reflected and also make sure that any changes made to the website will take up to 10 minutes that is informed by salesforce to us so just have patience and wait it will reflect so when just save this code and click on preview see i had made the screen so i see it green so it says chat with an agent so once i click on it this is the pre chat form so let's just fill the form and see what happens so i have given the information that is required and i'll click on start chatting it says an agent is on the way so let's see let's go to the agent side and see what happens see over here there's a case and if i click on this i see all the details that was entered by me earlier so i entered john's pet 
j@readsalesforce.com as the email and the salesforce as the company so this is where prechat form helps the agent to know more about the customer so once i click on this the work will be transferred to the past work which is in this tab and all the conversations can be taken care of from here so if i click on hi then over here see the agent says hi and this is what the image i was talking about this is what additional branding comes in picture so this is the avatar image for which i had put the url from the started resources so if i click on hi let's go to the agent side and see see this hi from john so agent or the customer both can end the chat so if supposedly agent ends the chat so it says the chat session ended by agent with the time also in the customer side it will say chat ended by the agent so this is how chat works let's also see what if the customer is offline so do we see an offline support form let's just refresh the page once more and instead of chat with as with an agent we will see contact us so click on that and see you'll be asked to put some information i'll say my phone is not working and what do you order with an email that they are asking for and click on submit see the case is submitted we logged your case you'll hear back from us soon so the case is now registered let's go to the company side and see whether the case is registered or not so let's click on cases and let's go to all open cases see a case has been registered my phone is not working so let's just re verify the email that we had put see so this is the case so whenever the agent is back online he can just go to the open cases and he can re verify all the details and what is the requirement of the customer and think and then can answer back or reach out to the customer whenever howsoever the agent is available so this is where offline support forms helps the agent for a better customer enhancement hope this was an helpful session for you thank you all